All right, lastly, for this um, set of task videos, we are going to be looking at the population. So, obviously, I have a population of bears. I'm not going to draw them very good. So, I've got three bears, right? But is it going to be three bears for, you know, three years? The bears are just going to... They're going to be fine with just having three of them? Well, who knows? Bears could walk in and join the club. They could have babies. Who knows if that's a mama and data bear? Who knows? So, what you do is we would have to know, like, to calculate the... um. Theoretically, how to calculate it at the end of the three years. And we know that it's increasing. How many bears are we going to start with? That's, that's important. What rate are the bears producing offspring? So we'll have to calculate what the rate is based on the information given. And are we going to add any bears? So we need, to fig we need the information. We're going to start with five bears. The offspring rate is unknown. The second year starts with seven bears. How many bears by the end of year three? So, year one, we're going to end up with seven bears. So that's given to us. We're going to break this down year by year. Year one, we have seven bears. Okay, so what, what does that look like? Well, I'll just get rid of this. Let's break this down. How would we figure this out? Uh, five, what, equals seven? We don't know, so we'll just say that that's x. And I'm sure you guys all know uh, manipulating equations. We want to get this x by itself so we can figure it out, right? x equals seven, and we're going to divide this side by five, and those cross out. And then we'll divide that side by 5. So then, that equals 5. There's the answer right there, obviously. I'm sure you could get out a calculator. But the important part is how to do it, right? So you, we just plug that in. 7 divided by 5. We have x is 1.4. So the bears increase at a rate of 1.4 each year. So year two, what's that look like? So we take this number, oops, we take this number, that's what we start with, seven bears, and then we multiply it. That little circle means multiply because I didn't want to use another x so as not to confuse anybody. So seven times 1.4 equals 9.8. Obviously we can't have 0.8 of a bear so we round that up, 10 bears. So we'll plug this back into the next year. 10 bears times 1.4, 14 bears. That's the, the amount of bears we have at the end of year three. However, what about if we added a bear in? So what does that look like? Year one, we're going to start with five bears and we'll still end up with seven bears at the end of this year let's throw in two bears so what's going to happen there year two we have seven plus two and these bears are obviously going to reproduce the offspring rate will be 9 times 1.4, just 12.6, right? And then what if we add two bears again? Year three, we have, what can we do with this? We're obviously not going to have 0.6 of a bear, right? So 13 bears, year three. 13 times 13 plus 2 times 1.4. What is that? 
It is 15 times 1.4, and we have 21 bears. Now that is when they are added in and they are also reproducing. However, what if we add them in and they don't reproduce? You know, they're, they're a little bit fresh. They're not going to settle down right away, right? They need some time. So what we do, 5x plus 2, right? So we know the offspring rate, 1.4. So we're going to do 5 times 1.4. Put that in brackets to keep it separate. But then we're going to add these two. That equals... 9. We know this is 7 from the previous um, calculation, so, but we'll do it again. Uh, 5 times 1.4 is 7 plus 2. That's going to equal 9. Year 2 is, we start with 9. We throw in our offspring calculation because those two bears... They're, they're good now. They're settled. They can have children. But we're going to throw in two extra bears that are not quite settled. And then we go 9 times 1.4. That's 12.6 plus 2. That equals 14.6. Oh, sorry. That's, that's not supposed to be a 12. That's supposed to be a 2. And then we know that we have to add the 15, or round it up to 15, because we can't have 0.6 of a bear. And year three. Well, we start with 15 times 1.4. Then we add our two. 15 times 1.4 is 21 plus 2. That equals 23. Perfect. Nice and even. 23 bears, the population is growing fantastic for them.